as a health and safety practitioner safety officer you act as a planner organizer manager and supervisor your major role is to maintain a safe and healthier workplace and to prevent accidents incidents injuries or harm to employees the law says you must prevent danger to workers in or near excavations to maintain and upkeep the required safety precautions a competent person must inspect excavation at the start of each working shift and at other specified times no work should take place until the excavation is safe what are the potential dangers number 1 collapse of excavations number 2 falling or dislodging material number 3 falling into excavations number 4 under mining nearby structures number 5 underground and overhead services and number 6 inflow of ground and surface water as a safety officer it is your responsibility to inspect each and every excavation on your site today i would like to share a checklist how you can easily identify each and every hazard that is related to excavations the construction team they are trying to hide something but if you will follow this checklist you can disclose every hidden secret you are on the platform of safety first life if you are visiting for the first time kindly subscribe the channel and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues let us discuss now how you can inspect an excavation by considering every safety aspect trust me you are better than everyone on site you know much more about excavations so don't hesitate be blunt bold and brave you can do and you are there to do what you need to check number 1 you need to ask has a pre excavation checklist been completed prior to start digging by the construction team number 2 have all relevant departments been notified prior to start digging number 3 are underground utilities cables and pipelines located and marked prior to start digging number 4 is a work permit required issued and available on site number 5 is a confined space entry permit required issued and available on site number 6 is gas testing required and performed for example excavations deeper than 1.2 meter 4 feet they need gas testing number 7 is a standby main or fire watch required and available on site number 8 are pedestrian crossovers required and provided with guardrails number 9 is access to plant or process equipment maintained number 10 if excavation is near a roadway or a flagman with the bright orange vest available number 11 is the shoring sloping a benching acceptable to prevent side wall caving number 12 is shoring material in sound condition and free of damage or defects number 13 is shoring installed and maintained by a qualified person number 14 are adequate ladders provided within a travel distance of 7.5 meters or 25 feet number 15 are ladders properly secured and do they extend 1 meter 3 feet above the surface landing platform number 16 is the excavation free of tension cracks or other evidence of side wall failure number 17 is the excavation free of water hydrocarbons or other toxic substances number 18 are materials and spoils set back at least 0.6 meter 2 feet from the excavation's edge number 19 are underground utilities and piping located marked and protected from damage 
Number 20. Are pedestrian barricades lighting placed at least 1 meter 3 feet from excavation edge? Point number 21. Are hard barricades for vehicles placed at least 2 meter 6.5 feet from excavation edge? Point number 22. Are cranes not closer than the depth of excavation to the edge of the excavation? Number 23. Are scaffolds erected no closer than 1.5 times the depth of excavation from its edge? Point number 22. And point number 23. Technically very important points. Point number 24. Are the dust suppression methods enforced? Point number 25. Are the dewatering system effective and maintained? Point number 26. What about noise control methods? Is the nearby public safe and comfortable with the site activities? Point number 27. Are there sufficient signs and signals available near the excavation site? Point number 28. The copies of no objection certificate from the service providers either they are overhead or underground kept up to date and available on site point number 29 the plants equipment and tools being used on site are inspected tagged and their third party certificate copies available on site point number 30 are the emergency equipment for any potential incident or accident and the emergency responders are trained and physically present on site with all necessary gear and arrangements. Point number 31. Are the workers including operators and the supervisory staff like foremen and sergeant. They are trained, certified and experienced in excavation activities like tunneling, boring or trenching. Point number 32. Did all the workers and staff are wearing task specific personal protective equipment PPE? For example, hard hats, high visibility jackets, safety shoes, dust masks, and the safety gloves, etc. Point number 33. Is the site workers welfare program enforced? For example, toilet, washing facility, and the availability of the rest area considered and maintained? Dear friends and fellows, you need to check overall conditions of the site. You can check each and everything. If you find the conditions of the site acceptable and safe for work, let it continue. But if there is a deficiency, you need to take action. This depends on the nature of the hazards or severity of the harm. But whatever you are going to mention in your inspection report, it need to be corrected in the allocated time frame. Where there is the threat for life and health immediately there shall be no activity unless the corrective action this is indeed your responsibility and your authority remember if you are serious about excavation safety your project and construction team they are also interested to prevent accidents you need to memorize and follow these 33 points in this way you can control any of the hazards at source prior it converts to a workplace incident or accident. And if you are interested, excavations, effective 30 control measures. You can click on the link appearing on the screen for excavation master training session. For now, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.